Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bobby, and I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. Say hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> oh, stop, buddy. You are too fresh. That's right, as fresh as fruit of the vine. <laughs> what? Remember, we had this conversation when we do the act. You said you were going to butch it up a bit. You're going to make me look bad. Oh, oh, please, Mary. The only thing making you look bad is that shirt and your $10 haircut. Oh, God! <laughs> Please. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we like to begin our act with a song, Hello My Baby. Do you remember the melody, Bobby? Of course, Bobby. I'm a professional. <laughs> All right, then on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. First I was afraid, I was petrified. <laughs> huh? Get it? I'm made of wood. Buddy, that's enough. OK, OK, I was just joking. No need to get your panties in a bunch, but, but, but it really would be a great way to open the act. I am not singing that song. Why? Is it because you're worried people will think you're good? No, I'm not. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I just recently started doing the act with Buddy. You see, I lost my other dummy, Randy, in a tragic camping accident. He got a little too close to the campfire and poof, he's a pile of ashes. Ah, and he calls me flaming. Oh, snap! <laughs> Anyway, I couldn't afford a brand new dummy, so luckily I found Buddy on Craigslist. I once found a Buddy on Craigslist and he was a total dummy. Really? Yeah, I told him I was 13 inches of hard wood. What happened? He complained about the splinters and made me leave. <laughs> but um, Buddy, that's enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You set me up on that one. It won't happen again. I promise. Good. Anyway, it wasn't until I got Buddy home that I realized that he was a, uh, well, that he liked uh, he was a... A faggot? Buddy, don't say that word. That word's derogatory. But it's true. I'm a pile of sticks and branches. <laughs> Buddy, that's enough. No more of the gay humor. Let's just stick to the script, okay? Okay. Good. Good. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Jeez. Seems like someone's a little uncomfortable. I am not. Seems like someone might be a little gay themselves. I am not the gay one here, buddy. You are. Ah, you could have fooled me. I'm not the one with my hand up some guy's ass. Oh, <laughs> All right, buddy, that's enough. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to have to find a new partner for the act. What? No. No, I, I'm sorry. It's, no, it's all my fault. Don't leave me. Don't make like my dad. A huge oak tree and split you. <laughs> All right, we'll give it one more shot, but no more of the gay stuff. I want to be commercial. I want to sell a middle America. Oh, you got it. From here on out, just consider me back in the closet. Great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the part of the act where Buddy will hum a song while I drink a glass of water. Oh, oh this is going to kill, but hey, hey, how about you hum? And I swallow. Buddy. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget to tip your waitresses. I don't think that went too badly. What do you think, buddy? Want to know what I think, Bobby? Yeah, I just asked for your opinion. I think you're breaking. I think you're snapping like a twig. Well, that's a little dark, buddy. Hey, Bobby. Yeah, buddy? Knock, knock. Who's there? 
You're gay. Buddy, that's enough of that. Do you think they know I'm gay? I think it's that obvious. <laughs> Everybody knows, Bobby. Will you stop, please? Tell me about your boyfriend, Bobby. I don't have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. He's cute. What's his name? Daryl? <laughs> Will you stop, buddy, please? This is getting ridiculous. Let's talk about our next set, shall we? 